Hey everyone, this is Inverse03 and today we are going to talk about the entry grid Gundam and its follow up the strike. Well the strike is going to be released in December 2021, that's this Christmas. You only have 2 months so either pre-order yours or wait in line because it's gonna be awesome. Well this was released last year, the RX-782 original granddaddy Gundam in the entry grid. Entry grid line is kind of old but before this it only came in 3 colors and was not properly color separated. And finally at the 40th anniversary Bandai released this entry grid. Not only this is comparable to high grade Gundams but it also comes in very how do I say this benefits and some cons. Well, I don't think the cons are going to matter much because the price tag is going to, well, win your heart. So, please lend me your ears. The price is 375 Indian rupees. That's 4 to 5 dollars. No, maybe even less. The 3 dollar mark. Because this is a light package, light package version. You can easily buy this. And... A version that comes with a beam rifle and a shield it only costs around 500 rupees that's five dollars and soon a full weapons pack with the beam saber effect parts the hyper bazooka and the gundam hammer will be released in december with well with the price of around 700 that's a little pricey than the high grade gundam but i think it will be fine I do have the high grade Gundam which is I'm which I'm going to build very soon. Oh let's see. Well the color accuration is perfect I have to say. Well not perfect these knee parts right here, these triangles or quadrilaterals or whatever part this is. This was supposed to be grey. But I guess with the price point and such a solid build, you can let it go. So the point of having this is you can test out all of your tools. Guys, you buy all the how do I say this expensive mobile suit models and then you go on waste them by making a mistake or well scrubbing them the wrong way and the plastic is broken now what you are going to do. So to prevent all of this all of that buy and degrade first this is a genuine request of mine you can ignore it but i will suggest you to go and buy it because this is going to make your day so when the entry gundam comes in there are well not much so much visible nerves but if you keep your if you take your time you will learn that how much hard it is to actually remove the nerves there are some easy ways but they come at a higher price. I just use sandpaper from 600 to 2000 and easily remove them. And also there are some scratches that you are occasionally going to find on the plastic. So my guess is well be ready to scrub them all out. However to get the nice finishing you are going to need a lot of practice and this this model is just for that also this is very child friendly but doesn't lose its charm even for adults so it doesn't come with stickers but very cleverly we can easily if you can see it right here you can see the camera is red it is per properly how do I say it, it color separated now watch it carefully their eyes here are made of plastic and there is how do I do this well it is hollow between the yellow eyes and the red plastic but I painted it black so you can't see it properly but however it does give this Gundam a quite a good finish And whenever you are going to build a model, there are some things that you will gonna need to do. 
like the pan lining so pan lining is like uh, highlighting the edges of a Gundam to make it more realistic if you don't do it then it's gonna look very bad and kind of sad that you didn't build your Gundam like that so I'm gonna show you what I did I used a Sakura micron pen and a 0.3 pencil Maganian pencil for this the backpack I darkened every uh, every kind of shadow and part I could even the thrusters even though I should have painted these red I'm actually looking for a quite nice red paint that I can use to paint the thrusters green or red for my future builds the face mask usually people just leave it white whenever they are building first but guys do some practice get a I don't know uh, a sketch pen a simple marker well not a simple not a permanent marker but a water based soluble marker put some ink in the face mask and then use a cloth to wipe uh, then use a white wipe or a cloth dry cloth to wipe it out the head details that you are going to need the Vulcans yes these Vulcans and the side vents you are going to need to pen line though panel line those as well it bring out it brings out more awesomeness of this the back camera I painted using a Sakura jelly roll red pen as you can see the quality is quite nice and I was able to clean up this uh, extra so design wise this thing is pretty nice and if you look at the beam sabers you will see this hole which is compatible with the, the HG ones beam saber effect parts so if you do decide to paint this you can actually use any kind of beam savers from your HG kits to make it more how do I say to your liking to your preference make your custom more color themed the hands are solid they held on to the lightsaber quite nice even so much that I have to put a little pressure on these to remove Oh, by the way, it does comes with the nerves on the V fin. That's the antenna. But as you can see, I have cut down the nerves here and went on to sharpen these. Sharpening V fins do give your Gundam a quite nice look. So if you're getting an HG and it has all those annoying nerves, be careful. But once you master this technique on this, your Gundams are gonna look more ferocious. Also the vents here, I don't know if you can notice but I used a brown sketch pen or a brown brush pen with water soluble ink to put in some brown shade so the now the vents look much better and I also used a pencil to pen line these torso, these torso lines. and as you can see there's not a sticker inside this part right here is the most clever that finally bandai was managed to get rid of the sticker this v sticker and this is a now a hard color separated part the sky the side skirts are also nice they are not long or any kind of thing they are tight and super durable the back flap is sadly doesn't move but you do get an action base adapter right here at the bottom the articulation for this kit is nice the head goes all the way just like the HG is nice you can easily remove this if you do want to you can paint your eyes in some other color you can just you just need to tight it and it's all right the chicken movement here is quite nice 
it can look up it can look down you can pose this in any way the hands rotate all 360 degrees going back the arms are quite nice you can use the hg ones or any kind of ones let me show you these arms are super compatible or, or if you do have an hg with a well open arm you can put this here it does me with an open arm and a closed fist it does make very natural poses the legs are quite fine the only problem i had with this is this sandal like mechanism but still this is fine as you can see i have pan lined most of the parts oh by the way before i forget look at here if you are just building gunpla and you have bought this you are going to see a very short line here actually i super glued this part and use a sanding st uh, and use my sanding paper to clear out the extra lines they are almost not visible but if you look carefully you can see them still however i did not have any special tool for it i just used this super glue that you can find it at your convenient hardware store or any kind of stationery shop so guys you don't need some uh, some heavy tools for this you can experiment keep experimenting on this make it better and especially if you are going to paint it i guess it's time that you guys look at the benefit so it's a good thing i didn't went for any kind of uh, ex higher priced ones well you can find my coloring video my coloring experience video on the channel but some paints are not good for the gunpla for example like this white spray paint it actually is kind of a rubbery it was for automobiles some automobile paints are quite nice but not this one i should have gone with the matte white if i could find sadly in india good quality materials for everything is kind of hard to find the red is fine i guess i quite like the red but same type of spray paint in white so didn't help much the green torso and the legs i did try to paint them using the acrylic colors but well i couldn't do it but i'm still happy that i was able to save my other kits my future kits from happening from well this anyway I, it's not like I, it's a failure i still like the scheme and yes i did try some pan lining scribing and i learned quite a lot and because i made all these mistakes here i was able to make a clear uh, i was able to perform better in my next builds like this one and my sg barbitos loopers which you can see in my other video so guys get yourself an entry grade it's not that big it's barely 50 grams that you can easily pack it in your parcel 3 3 uh, to 4 dollars it's not going to cost you much get it practice on it and build better do it for yourself do it for your future builds your hobby just make it and yes please do like subscribe and share if anybody is going to get into gunpla what i show them this video and please advise them to buy an entry grade this christmas or gift them yes that's the best thing you can do give them the entry grade give them the entry grade should be a hashtag this you know, this time okay guys goodbye please do like subscribe and share you are helping this buddy so much